setup is ready here's my canvas this is also 18 by 24 and here i have my acrylic uh, palette which is a peel of palette and water so i'm going to be using today a lemon yellow or a mango yellow color Let's this begin. is the paint that i'm going to be using today when you have a smaller size of canvas you can use your brushes but when you have a big size of canvas it is good to use something like this this is here is a foam roller that i'm going to be using these acrylics is uh, this particular one is by Fevicryl and the color which is uh, used is called as a chrome yellow. So this is slightly more liquidy than our regular heavy body acrylics. For a larger surface area that we need to cover, it's always a good idea to use these. In case you don't have the flowy one, uh, you could use four acrylics. You could also use a little bit of water in your regular acrylics. So let's start pouring. I uh, like to use generally a lighter color. Sometimes I also do a darker color layer, but I do a lighter color layer mainly because when you have to pour uh, or add white on top of it, it becomes a little easier. So let's begin. Just roll your roller, go back and forth on it. And then add it onto your palette canvas. You don't need water. the angle a little bit so that you can see the entire canvas it's also very therapeutic to do this so these small bubbles that you see over here it's because of the foam roller which will all settle down don't worry about that you also go this direction. I don't mind texture in my canvas, so I, I'm just going to let that be. Time to rotate it so that I can do the other side. You can also move around to do this. So I still have some amount of paint left and uh, the edges are not going to be teached by the foam roller so I'm going to leave the foam roller aside and I'm going to use a flat brush to do the edges. Since I'm using these, uh, this liquidy or a semi pore state of acrylics, I don't need to add any water at all. But if yours is not this kind of consistency, all you need to do is add a little bit of water. So if I want a flatter surface, all I can I need to do is use a flat brush. You can even use a bigger size flat brush later. Why we don't, uh, why our at least why I did not use the brush directly first is there's a lot of space to cover. So it'll take a lot of time if I'm going um, with a brush directly, which is why I decided to go with a foam roller. It covers a larger surface area. So if there are any uh, pieces of article or, or any dust which you have at this point please make sure to remove it 
otherwise it will get stuck onto your canvas and it will create like a bump in your fine painting. When you do large paintings, um, make sure that you use like long handle brushes like the one that I'm using right now. 